Well, out of the 5,000 polo players in the United States, one in Wellington is quickly standing out among the field of sportsmen. Nick Roldan is making quite a name for himself on and off the field in a sport that's highly competitive. We caught up with the 28-year-old Wellington resident who has high hopes as he sits high above the rest. He is the pride and joy of Wellington. These days, Nick Roldan couldn't be happier about where he sits and how far he's come to get to that point. I started riding probably when I was like two or three. So it's, uh, and it's, it's, it's been in my family. You know, my father's played, his father's played, and we've always grown up on a farm. We've always had horses around us. Roldan, a nine-goaler who was ranked number two in the United States, has taken his sport to another level. He single-handedly is marketing Wellington Polo for one reason. I don't think anybody realizes how big and the mag and how yeah the magnitude of 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 how big the polo is here in Wellington. I mean, uh, you have got every single all the top polo players in the world are playing here in Wellington right now. So. Um, and, and this is the highest goal polo in, in, in the United States. That means millions when it comes to sponsors and lots of dedication on the part of the polo player. Roldan puts in at least two hours of riding every day, plus personal training in the gym. Even after that, though, he admits most don't know the biggest factor. The horses are 80% of, of the game, and a lot of people also I don't think realize that. Um, the, the horses are key. And they come in high demand, eighty to two hundred and fifty thousand dollars per polo pony. The average player needs eight to ten horses per match, and some fifteen to twenty per season. You do the math. It's a simple formula that has transformed this unique arena into a world-renowned environment. And Nick Roldan is riding high atop the momentum that's running full speed ahead. It's, it's an honor, and you know, to be able to be here in Wellington representing, you know, home base guys. Uh, it's a great feeling. And Roldan is featured on the cover of February's Palm Beach Illustrated magazine. You can read more about him there. And you can see him on Sundays with his polo team, Mount Brilliant, at the International Polo Club in Wellington. Seems course, like a really humble guy. He's a great guy. Uh, amazing. You know, he's at the top of his game. Right. He's number two in the United States. And he's just like, you know, average Joe out there. And he's talking to the nicest guy, 28. 28. Yeah. <laughs> oh. As she looks at his picture well, again. Do this you mind? Yeah, yeah, we'll go over here. Yeah. What else are we supposed to do? Am I supposed to read the article? That's the first scene? time I was able to hold that magazine <laughs> just tonight, by the way. Right? Just saying. So. Just saying. I'll read the article. Yeah, and too. our things. I've never been a polo match. I it's a lot of fun out there, and you know, a lot of people don't realize the, the competitiveness. You know, you go out there, it's such a, a distinguished sport, and it's a very social yeah. sport, but those players are so intense, and the horses are amazing. Right. You know, horses are so expensive. They're like athletes. They have to train the horses. They have special diets. It's amazing. So if you get a chance, get out there, and of course, you'll see Nick out there as well. So.